Jamboard is popular. All over social media and in educator circles, you can hear teachers talking about using it in their classrooms. I've seen it on my own website, Ditch That Textbook. Two of the most popular posts on my site this year are about Jamboard, and the number one post is about Jamboard templates. There's a good reason for all of this talk. Jamboard is a great free digital app that teachers are using all over the world to engage their students. You can do very effective, very fun visual learning with Jamboard. It's such a collaborative tool. The user interface is simple, so it's really easy to pick up. And once you have the basics, the sky's the limit. It opens up so many possibilities for engaging learning. That's why I'm doing this four-part video series on how you can do more with Jamboard. My name's Matt Miller. I taught in public schools for more than a decade. You may be here because you participated in my Ditch That Textbook Digital Summit, a free online course that I put on for teachers every December. You may be here because you follow my blog, Ditch That Textbook, which has empowered and equipped educators all over the world. You may have read one of my five books, heard me speak at a conference, or seen me on social media. In this series of videos, we're gonna be talking about some of the best ways to use this free app that everyone seems to be talking about. We're gonna learn how to make templates that will engage your students in meaningful, fun learning. And to kick it all off today, let's talk about what makes Jamboard so special and what you can do with it. First off, Google created this interactive flat screen monitor called a Jamboard. That's not what we're talking about here. If your school or district has bought one of these for you though, that's fantastic. And if I were you, I'd be very excited about that. In these videos, we'll be talking about the free Jamboard app, the Jamboard web tool that was built to be used with the interactive monitors, but can be used by anyone. You don't actually need any sort of specialized hardware to use the free app. You just need a device that can access the internet. Now, when you look at Jamboard, it's natural to think, wow, this looks a lot like Google Slides. Is it really all that different? Well, yes and no. A Google Slides presentation is made up of multiple slides and a Jamboard file called a jam is made up of multiple frames. So both of them are really all about communicating ideas visually. And both of them can be shared and used collaboratively by people anywhere. So what makes them different? Well, one big difference is their intention. Google Slides was intended to be used to create visual aids for speeches and presentations. It was made to build slides that would be shown on projector screens or shared in live video calls. Over time, we as educators have found lots of other creative ways to use Google Slides, like for making graphic organizers or stop motion animation. We've repurposed it for interactive, informal learning experiences. Interactive, informal learning experiences. That is the beauty of Jamboard. It was made for this. The user interface is simple. It's made for getting quick ideas down on the screen so we can talk about them. It's made for brainstorming. It's not as concerned about being pretty or polished or perfect as it is about the easy flow of ideas. Another big difference, Jamboard is big on drawing and moving. Have a touch screen? The pen tools will become your new favorite friend. Want to create hands-on learning? The sticky notes and the draggable images are great tools for that. So what does Jamboard make possible? Well, briefly, a lot. You can use it to take attendance. You can use it at the beginning or the end of class as a bell ringer or an exit ticket. You can use it to gather quick assessment data from students. You can use it to create reference resources that students can refer to anytime. You can use it to build community and keep students engaged in learning. You can use it to let students demonstrate understanding, showing what they know and what they've learned. You can use it for collaborative learning. You can also use it beyond the classroom for things like clubs, sports, extracurriculars, and even lesson planning. Is this sparking some ideas? As I said before, there's a lot we can do with Jamboard. Now, all of this may make you think, you know, I don't know that I need another digital tool or app. And I get that. You know, for me, my goal is to find the most versatile tools I can use in the classroom, to find apps that you can do a lot with. I would rather have one app that can help me do 10 things in the classroom than to find 10 different apps that can only do one thing. And because there's so much you can do with Jamboard, I really feel like it's one of those versatile apps 
That's why so many people are talking about it right now. So, would you like to see some of my favorite ways to use Jamboard in the classroom? That's what the next video in this series is all about. I'll show you my top three favorite ways to use Jamboard in the classroom. It's got some really great stuff and I am super excited for you to watch it. Until then, I have a question for you. How do you make learning visual? Visual learning is one of the core ideas of Jamboard and obviously you don't need a Jamboard to do great visual learning. So how do you help students see new ideas and visualize them? What do your students do to show you what they've learned in a very visual way? High tech, low tech, no tech, whatever it is, I would love to see your best ideas. Please leave a comment below this video sharing those ideas and I will see you in the next video.